to my channel so as you all have read in the video title and also saw in the thumbnail that i did this makeup look using very affordable products and also i did this makeup look using only three brushes yeah so the products that i used here are uh, mostly within 500 rupees except for the compact which retails for 575 rupees you can definitely get it for discount in one side or the other because lakme always runs discount and that's a good part of lakme i know i always use affordable products um, in my videos most of the products are in the affordable or in the mid range and only few products are in the high range but these products are really very affordable and really of good quality because if you have been following me since the uh, beginning of my youtube journey then you must have seen that i use them regularly in my youtube videos so yeah without much uh, blabbering let's quickly get into the video before that if you are new to my channel then please do take a moment to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon i really look forward to your support and the small gesture of yours me would mean absolutely everything to me now thank you so much for watching my video and without any further ado let's get started as usual i have already moisturized my face and today i have used the face shop rice and ceramide moisturizing immersion now you can use any kind of moisturizer as per your choice and whatever suits your face uh, since uh, this video is uh, all about using affordable makeup products specifically below rupees 500 but um, i right now do not have any moisturizing cream i guess um that is uh, below 500 and even if i do have i haven't used it before makeup so i need to do that and then i would be telling you my views about it it so um right now let's get into the makeup and i would start with uh, priming my face and for the primer i'm taking this insight cosmetics primer uh now this is the first primer that i purchased and i'm almost on the verge of finishing it up and this is such a good uh, primer i mean under uh, for affordable budget and under rupees 250 this is a pretty pretty decent primer it has good blurring efficacy and it actually provides you a nice smooth uh, canvas and as usual i just love applying my primer below my eyes because i do have fine lines there and it helps prevent any kind of creasing so coming to the foundation i do not have any foundation that is under 500 rupees uh so i thought of making this video without a, without applying any kind of foundation now i know that maybelline fit me is a foundation uh the tube version is under 500 rupees if you want and if you have it then definitely you can go for it uh but uh, i do not have it and i do not know whether i would be uh buying it or not so uh i would be going with a concealer and also a compact powder now for the concealer you know um i have a really good concealer that is under 500 rupees up till now now this is the pack take cover concealer the price is rupees 495 and this is a really good concealer in affordable budget i think mean, as i told you earlier it is better far better than the maybelline fit me concealer now i would be using this concealer um in areas where i have got the pigmentation now also why i skipped the foundation part is because uh, i wanted to make this uh, makeup tutorial very a uh, beginner friendly um uh, very affordable i know uh, people who are starting out with makeup do not want to invest too many uh, too much of their money on makeup products so better to go for good affordable products and then if they become compatible with it then definitely they can invest in more uh, uh, expensive products now i'm um, after application i'm blending this concealer and the brush that i'm using is from allure now if i remember correctly this brush is also under 500 rupees now one uh, makeup brush i think uh concealer gets blended better by with the help of a foundation uh, sorry concealer brush as compared to a beauty blender now if you want you can definitely go for a beauty blend blender it is up to your comfort level 
um, I am more comfortable with the uh, uh, concealer blender brush so I am using it and as you can see I am uh, pushing the concealer instead of dragging it a lot because then there is this tendency to crease So once I have blended in the concealer, I will be setting it and since I'm not using a foundation today, so I will be using a uh, compact with a pretty good coverage and for that today I'm using this Lakme 9 to 5 compact powder. It costs 575 rupees. Um, you always get this product under any kind of, under some other, other kind of discount because like now this runs a discount in Flipkart or uh, Amazon or Mintra or Nike as well. Uh, so you can get it for a much lower price than what it is. Um, under 500 rupees, I could not find a better compact than this. This provides such a beautiful coverage and it is not that drying as well. Okay, so my shade is... Um, uh, what's my shade? Silky Golden. And I would be applying it very lightly under my eyes just to set the concealer. And also applying it on the other parts of my face to set it. And this also provides some coverage as I told you earlier. Okay, so the base is almost done and let's get into the brows. And for the brows, I'm using this Miss Clear Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. So this is also a pretty decent eyebrow pencil. It has this spoolie uh, also attached with it and the consistency is not that creamy. Uh, many of many people do not like creamy texture of eyebrow pencil uh, they want it to be more on the waxier side so yeah it is not that creamy that you know it gets too pigmented just the right amount of pigmentation that is required for a brow pencil and it is quite affordable as well so here you can see me that uh, what I did is uh, brushed my eyebrow hairs here downwards and filled up any sparse area on the upper part and next I would be brushing it upwards and slightly underlining them and filling up any sparse area on the inner part and uh, on the lower part sorry and and with light hand I would be filling up the inner part and if any excess got applied, it gets blended pretty well with the spoolie provided here. Now coming to the eye makeup, um, if you are wanting to purchase an eyeshadow palette that is really affordable and good, then definitely I would suggest this uh, Wet n Wild Rose in the Air eyeshadow palette. Forgive me if uh, I actually my palette has the cover has become really dirty. So this is the color story of the palette. It's really beautiful and the colors are pretty as well. Um, they blend really nicely. But today I'm going to use a single stick eyeshadow. This is from Deborah Milano. Uh, this is the eyeshadow kajal pencil. Now this Wet n Wild eyeshadow palette it retails for I guess so around 599. When I purchased it, it uh, the price was 499 so i was actually trying to include it but i thought well, today i would be doing something really different so i'm using a stick eyeshadow um this retails for around 425 rupees and it's gonna last you really long and i think using a stick eyeshadow is com comparatively less cumbersome than using a uh, an eyeshadow palette because definitely you would need eyeshadow brushes to use a palette so I will be showing you how to use a stick okay so before that uh, definitely I would be priming my lids and for that I would be again using my concealer blender brush then take this concealer I would be applying the concealer directly on this, this brush and apply it all over my eyes and while going below your uh, eyebrows just uh, be a tad bit careful to get that really sharp line and uh, not to disturb your brows and once uh, it is done I would be using the same compact powder to set my uh, concealer on the lids 
and again taking this powder and I'm using the same brush to set the concealer really lightly. Uh, I really wanted to do something different and uh, affordable beginner friendly makeup does not always mean that every product has to be within a certain uh, price range. It is just that how can you do the makeup with minimum amount of uh, minimum number of products and also minimum equipment because makeup does require some good equipment uh, so you can see I would be just applying it all over and using my finger to blend it And I will be using my finger to blend the edges as well so that it doesn't look that harsh. Uh, if you have a brush then definitely you can use a brush but I'm showing it because I wanted to use minimal number of equipments as well so I am using finger to do this. And this is it. To uh, add that extra glam I would be putting on some highlighter in the middle part of the lids but as of now just to cover it um, what you can do is just add a tad bit extra color on the lower part on, on the central or central part of the lids so that a color gradient can be seen and maintained and then again blend it. Um, you can use any kind of eyeshadow pencil as per your liking but I had this and I really wanted to uh, be a bit different from the usual brows, uh, browns, sorry not brows, from the usual browns, peaches, orange, pink and yeah all those colors, the, the common colors that we use in eyeshadows and also I really wanted to uh, get a pop of color on the lips and without have to without making it too cumbersome this will take the blending part and all now if talking about this eyeshadow pencil it is definitely not that pigmented but i really like the blendability i mean it blends really nicely so yeah this eye is almost done now what I'm gonna do is add a bit of shimmer on my eyelids because you guys know that I just love my shimmers and yeah most of my eye makeup is all about shimmers. For adding the necessary shimmer on my lids I would be using a highlighter palette and for that I'm using this Miss Claire Studio Bronze and Highlight Palette. Um, I'm suggesting this palette because the highlight is pretty, highlight is, shade is pretty nice it gives a very good glow. Uh, to the face um, you can also go for the wet and wild mega glow highlighter which I um, regularly use in my videos but it is not under 500 rupees and in this video I'm trying to keep most of the products under 500 rupees as far as possible also making sure that the quality of the products that I use are really good and I have used them for a pretty long time uh, so I'm trying to ensure that these work really good on your face because yeah, today's video is more about the beginner friendly videos and I really want any, if anyone who is starting out with makeup buys good quality makeup but affordable makeup. Um, so for the highlighter today I would be using this shade, this particular shade and as usual today I will be using my fingers. So here you can see uh, how I am applying the shimmer or the highlighter with my finger now I'm applying the highlighter more like a cut crease kind of thing but if you want you can apply it as a full cut crease I mean on the entire lid you see how pretty it looks although uh, some part of my lashes got coated with uh, I like but it's okay and I would be using my little finger to apply the highlighter on the inner corner of my and whatever is left I would be applying on the brow bones 
highlighted. It's not that prominent here, but it might not look that prominent on the camera, but it has been applied pretty nicely. Now coming to the lower lids, I would be taking the same eyeshadow pencil and I would be applying it and kind of smudging it as well. And for lining my upper uh, lids, I would be, upper eyelids, I would be taking this Faces Canada Magnet Eyes Eyeliner. Now under affordable budget, I think this is one of the best eyeliners I have used till date. Now I have you, I've been using affordable eyeliner since a long time and this is just brilliant. Okay, so I managed to do the eyeliner and I got the wings also. That is the most difficult part for me because I have hooded eyes and it is difficult you guys. Now for the mascara, I have one of the cult favorites. Um, this is the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now Essence Cosmetics are available on Flipkart and I got it from them. Uh, the price is 355 rupees and under affordable budget, this is one of the more best selling mascaras in the world. I guess so you can see the beautiful uh, volumizing effect it had on the it has on the lashes and you can I think compare these two sides okay so the eye makeup is almost done and yeah uh, except for lining the lower lash line which I'm not gonna do because I really do not want to um, I'm happy with how the eye makeup is turned, turned out to be and I really like it as of now and let's get quickly into the face for the face I am taking um, for contouring I am taking this sugar contour day for uh, Woody Wonder uh, bronzer in the shade Woody Wonder now as I told earlier you, if you want you can use this bronzer as well but um, uh, another great alternative is this particular bronzer it's a really good bronzer from sugar cosmetics and it's really affordable it costs hardly um, 3.99 rupees I guess now till now I have used only two brushes one is a concealer brush and one is the powder brush and the other brush that I'm gonna use is a contour brush you could have used the con uh, concealer brush but I think blending it with it is a bit difficult so I'm taking this uh, a contour brush I would also be applying this contour on the jawline to get uh, that nice chiseled effect. Uh, so bronzing is almost done. Now next comes the blusher for which I am taking this uh, sugar blush in the shade Salmon Superstar. Now this is another affordable blush obviously um, the price is somewhat around $3.99 or $2.99 or something like that and I'm taking this powder, blur, powder brush to apply the blush on my face um, I do not want my blush to be too pigment, pigmented because uh, I think that wouldn't suit this eye makeup look but just the little hint of that the beautiful uh, rose rosy touch to the cheeks and that's it i do not know why i can't carry two pigmented blush i i do not know why um, i do have some issues i guess okay this is it i can't go any more than this okay finally comes the highlighter and for the highlighter the brush that i'm gonna use is the same contour brush first time what i'm gonna do is remove the top layer of the highlighter because it had some tiny specks of the eyeshadow that the green eyeshadow and I am using this contour brush again to apply the highlighter and I would be applying it very slightly it doesn't look chunky on the face as such it 
Now, what I believe is while applying the highlighter, one should really go with very light hand because otherwise it can look too blinding. Now, that also uh, depends on personal choice. I do not like that blinding highlighter, and I think today I've kept the focus on the eyes, uh, I'm, as I do always. So I do not want that of that that much of that blinding or chunky effect. But nevertheless, this is a really good highlighter. If you can see, I really like this beautiful glow. And apart from the cheeks, I have applied a bit of it on the chin, on the cupid's bow, and the remaining on the forehead. And finally, the lipstick for which I'm taking this Eco Milano Smart Fusion lipstick in the shade 407. So yeah, this is the completed makeup look, which has been done with only three brushes. One concealer brush, one foundation brush, and sorry, one uh, powder brush, and the other is this contouring brush. Now, uh, since I did not use any foundation, if I had used any foundation, then definitely I would have used a foundation brush, and in that case, I would have skipped the concealer brush, and I would have tried to blend the concealer concealer with the foundation brush i would be sure i would i think i have shown in the previous video how i do my makeup while traveling and I, in that i blended a concealer with the foundation brush i did not want to use a foundation today because it's a big looking up friendly makeup so i really wanted to skip it and yeah uh the products that have been used are all affordable products really good quality i have been using these products in many of my videos i know you have you guys have seen the outcome so yeah uh, this is it i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did then please do give me a big thumbs up i would be back again with a brand new video till then stay safe stay happy and bye bye i love you all